Hey everybody, so this is a little bit of an unusual look for this channel, but here I am. I'm going to try and do some more uh, flying videos, but not just flying videos, but actually working on the plane videos. And I decided recently for a couple of reasons to put in a couple linear actuators on my Chinook Plus 2. And, to, uh, well, one was to run a control, uh, a trim tab for my elevator, and the other was to control the flaperons on this plane. And did a little digging around and searching online and asking questions, and there was not a lot of information out there on, on this procedure and the way to do it and the best way to do it. So I, I'm kind of making it up as I go along, but I'm going to try to show people what I'm doing so that I can help some other people out. Uh, it seemed like there was a lot of interest. So I'm not quite done. I'm kind of in the middle of things. So I'm just going to do a quick video here on what I have done so far so that people can, can see. And then I'll show it a little bit later on. So sorry for the lighting. It's not particularly light in here, but I think we can see all right. So yeah, you can see here I've got... This is where I decided to mount my linear actuator. The original plan for this was actually to mount it on the tail out here and after talking to Matt um, he remembered some information and we just anyway we we realized that this plane potentially could suffer from something called flutter by putting that much weight out here on the on the end of the um, elevator and it's kind of a really bad thing it basically for people who don't know, uh, especially at higher speeds, you with the weight out here, um, you get this up and down action as the plane, as the as the the elevator attempts to put the weight to the front. The way Matt described it, and I thought was pretty apt, was if you shoot an arrow, the heavier part of the arrow is in the front, and it'll fly relatively straight. But if you were to fire it backwards, it would want to flip over. The same as you throw an axe. The axe head always wants to be towards the front. It will, it'll naturally tend to go towards the front. And in this situation, the, the elevator will basically do this very fast as it tries to put that weight to the front to sort of balance itself, which of course, if it does it very violently at higher speeds, could start tearing things and damaging things. So. Then we thought we could mount it here a little further, but we just decided it was not worth the risk um, because I was going to have just a direct linkage to my uh, trim tab. And, um, yeah, I just, I couldn't do it with, with, without having that out on, on here with the actuators I have. So I ended up moving it back and I'm just going to use this cable system. I have a cable system here through this, um, Bicycle sleeve is all it is, is just is bicycle cable. And I'm going to have a spring on the bottom of my trim tab to pull it down. And then the linear actuator, when I actuate it, will pull the cable, which will be attached here, and it will pull up the trim tab to whatever I need. This plane has a, a nose down tendency, and so I will be wanting it to be mostly down um, to push my elevator up to bring the nose up. So that's that. So I'm just in the process of getting it wired in. I ran uh, a wire all the way up through the boom tube. So I don't have anything on the outside of the plane, which is kind of nice. And I just made a couple connections and did some heat shrink on it. And uh, I'm gonna pull all that slack up through now. And then I'm gonna be mounting my tailpiece my, my attachment to the tail and figuring out my cable attachment uh, to the linear actuator. Um, I'll just come up here and show you what I did for, I don't know if you can really see that. There's some stuff hanging in the way here. So this is another linear actuator, exactly the same as that one. Uh, and this is the flap lever that basically runs the flapperons. The plane does not have dedicated flaps. It just has flapperons. And so 
This is an impossible spot when you're sitting in the front seat. It's behind your head and up high, and it's impossible to reach around, and you can't see how much you're adjusting it. And to do that in flight uh, or in the circuit is not particularly safe, in my opinion. And so uh, I just decided that the only way to fix that was with some sort of control. And so I got this linear actuator. I mounted it. I don't know if you can see. Let me get a flashlight going here. So I used the mounting bracket that came with it, mounted it right into that main post on the top. And then this had like a squeeze lever here that pulled down a piece of metal that was notched into those notches. You can see I marked the two notches where I want my travel to be. And I've adjusted it, I believe, where I've bolted it through, two inches should put me just about to that front notch which is as far forward as I want to go with my, with my flaps. Um, yeah, so that might take a little experimentation. If I, if I need to adjust it, I can just make a hole further down and that will increase the length um, of stroke required to move it to that spot. So it may take a little experimentation, but I think that's going to give me a good spot to start. Uh, nothing's wired, so I can't really figure it out yet what it needs to be. Um, the other modification I'm going to do, one thing I hate about these planes is the dash and how impossible it is to get at all the wiring that is, I <laughs> see the mess of wiring that's behind there. And I'm going to be really rebuilding this dash probably in the spring, but for now, um, I'm just going to deal with it, but I've decided to make an access panel right here on the windshield because there's just you've got to be a contortionist to reach up under there to do anything so i'm gonna at some point here i'm gonna take this tape off drill, drill out these rivets i'm gonna put another piano hinge across here and then this and cut my lexan and this whole thing will become a flap and i'll just attach it there so that when i need act and then retape it and then when i need access i can just fold that down and uh, have access to the wiring much much simpler than trying to bend my old body up in there so anyway that's kind of the idea of what i'm doing and uh i'll post updates as i get them bye bye for now yes just when we thought we'd get rid of this awful white stuff imagine terrible anyway progress has been made you can see i've got this hinge in now so now i have excellent access to my mess of wires in the back and i'll probably once i'm finished with my wiring it's not often i need to be in there i'll just tape this back up and uh, that'll be good and then i'm going to show you in the back let me get back here what I've done, I got my wire run. And I got this spring attached. So now it holds my trim tab down. Get some light going here. You can see the linear actuator is fully extended there. Now I just have the bit of tape on it just to hold the cable in place but I'm going to have to put something on that to crimp it and it will run down and attach to this and when that gets actuated it'll pull this up to whatever I, whatever I need at least that's the theory there's a little bit of experimentation on the geometry of this getting this the right height I may end up taking this off and and having to put something longer uh, I just don't know. I'm not going to know until I try it. And uh, that will not be tonight because I do not have the correct toggle switches to put on my control panel. So I will not have those until Monday. So until then, until then, I guess I'm not flying.
Anyway, that's a bit of an update. Any questions, throw them in the comment section, subscribe and all that, and you'll get updates uh, for when I finish this. So long.